Hi everybody, this is Atik. I once again welcome all of you to my YouTube channel Engineering Drive and I once again welcome all of you to the Disk Scheduling Algorithms. Now today I am going to discuss about Circular Scan Disk Scheduling Algorithm. How this scheduling algorithm will work? Okay, in order to find out the number of tracks, how we can make use of this disk scheduling algorithm, everything I am going to show you with the help of the same example which I have discussed in the previous set of videos. I will take the same example and let us see how the circular scan disk scheduling algorithm will work. Okay, as usual, take the disk arm starting position as a 345. Okay. And we know that scan also will work from, first it will scan the left side numbers first. So here also as, as it is 123, next to 105. And it will go to 0 again. Sir, this is same, no? It is same like of uh, scan only. Then what is the difference here in circular scan? Here the one thing that is added is circular. Previous algorithm is just a scan disk scheduling algorithm. This one is circular scan, which means once we got to the request 0 here, from the request 0, it won't, serve, it won't serve the remaining numbers, which means 376, 475, 692, 874. These are the left out 4 numbers. It won't service those numbers. What this circular scan will do means, unlike scan disk scheduling algorithm, uh, unlike scan disk scheduling algorithm, it will directly move to the end position of the cylinder that is 999 cylinder from 999 cylinder it will scan the next elements from right side so next we got 874 okay after 874 692 next we got 475 and last we got 376 okay the main difference between scan and circular scan is in scan disk scheduling algorithm once we move to the 0th cylinder, from 0th cylinder will service all the remaining cylinders from left to right only. But in, in, disk in circular scan scheduling algorithm, after moving to the left, that is cylinder number 0, directly control will go to the last cylinder, that is 999 cylinder, which is in the, which is the last cylinder and from that cylinder it will service from right to left to the remaining cylinders so this is the difference between circular scan and the old scan method so don't get confused with this one so if you have not watched the scan disk scheduling algorithm first you watch that one then you come to this one so that you can understand very clearly now the circular scan has been completed now graph generated now finally we need to find out the number of tracks so same method to find out the number of tracks this take the take this line 345 minus 0 345 minus 0 plus 999 minus 0 plus 999 minus 376 376 so 345 plus 999 plus 999 minus 376 900 minus 300 minus 600, 620 and 623. Okay, now once we add all these three numbers, so what we will get to 900, 1200, 1800, 1800, this is 1900, 1960, 65 plus 2, 67, 1967. Okay, so in order to fulfill the request, the disk arm must move 1967 number of tracks. That's what we got the answer by using the circular scan disk scheduling algorithm. Okay, hopefully how this circular scan disk scheduling algorithm has been working of this algorithm has been clear to you. So with this, let me close my today's session of video. See you soon everybody. Take care. Allah Hafiz.